One year ago today in the South Bay, Coyote Creek overflowed its banks, devastating several neighborhoods. And one year later, victims are still hurting. ABC 7 News reporter Matt Keller live for us in San Jose. Matt. Good morning, Reggie and Natasha. It's hard to believe that it's been a year since Coyote Creek flooded and the work is still being done here in the Rock Spring neighborhood of San Jose. This was a hard hit area. The streets were flooded, cars damaged beyond repair, and of course, residents evacuated from their homes. You remember the images from that day. Rescue boats had to get people out to safety. In the end, 14,000 people were displaced. Flood losses have been estimated at $73 million, 10 times more than what public donations raised. 150 residents are are suing the city, the county, and the water district, but for many, it's the mental toll that has been the hardest to deal with. I don't know what to say to the kids when they ask me, it's going to rain, could this happen to us again? After the flood, $6.8 million was raised for flood assistance. Nearly 4,500 people received assistance with $3 million for housing and vehicles and basic needs, $3 million for emergency financial aid, and $200 million for emergency shelter and meals. Parents and neighbors of Shirakawa School established a donation center and raised $30,000 for gift cards. 100 families at that school were flood victims. This morning, a special event will be held to honor the people who helped out the victims there at Chiricahua School. That starts at 845. Reporting live in San Jose, Matt Keller, ABC 7 News.